My name is Kai. Welcome to the Coding Cookery. Ha ha ha! This is my another screen. Ah ha ha! Now, um, I am working on a game called Chaos Scroll. This is a dev vlog, a development vlog. So I'm just gonna show you my. I'm gonna show you my. Yeah, I'm going to show you my uh, progress. Yeah. I'm going to show you my progress on how I'm doing. And so let me start by going over here and look at my screen. It says subscribe to the coding cookie. Oh, that's my old name. Okay, that's me. and then over there it says that's me, Kai, which is true. Ah, that this act that is me. Uh, Kitoki. Da la 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 la. <sighs> okay, let's start by going. I'm going to start by showing you. So, I'm going to start by going here. Show me it. How it's going. Castle, yes. What? Okay. So, um, the coding was gone. Uh, okay, this will help me be edited out in the final in the cut. Uh, not sponsored, but this is completely not sponsored, but I use shot cut. So I'm going to show you my task managing. So Casual, here's my task managing software. Um, this is it. It's called Google Spaces. Uh, I can chat and files. Why do I use Google Spaces? Because this is um, uh, a team project uh, I'm working on with my dad. So. Um, Uh, Dad has made this wall model. Don't worry, it doesn't look like this. It's just, this is something. What do you think of this logo? Um, okay. 
the, the what do you think of this logo? Okay. What do you think of this year? Well, we just need a picture of the game in the background. So, uh, so this. Okay, so uh, this is a game. Your goal is to knock over things and steal things. So, you know, basically, to cause chaos in the town. Um, the reason you're causing chaos is because um, everyone was instead they are sentenced to live in this seemingly peaceful town, but there's a catch! A squirrel come every now and again, a squirrel comes along and puts chaos to the town! <laughs> um, so, here's some tasks. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four. I have four days to finish. <laughs> four days to finish the player movement and. Uh, I'm gonna put that off so. I'm going to add a space task called, I can add a space task, let's say I need, a menu, I also need a menu, which I'm going to assign to me. I should finish it by the 18th. So I'm gonna work on that. So this is the game so far. Uh, here it is. I'm trying to get the animations. So Dad made an idle animation of some animations. Um, for the scroll and um, I'm trying to get the animations working so right now he's always gonna be playing the idle animation uh, I'm trying to get it to uh, play the uh, not idle the uh, other animation uh, so let's start by 80. Now I'm gonna start by showing you <laughs> what um, it is so. I can move around. I can move around and keep looking around. And I can go through walls for some reason. I I even added a collider. I feel like I added a collider. Yeah, I added a collider. So this is a wall dime model. We're trying to figure out how to add text to the houses other than just brown. Uh, uh, yeah, cause Dad added the M, uh, the the colors of in, but in theory the colors should be appearing, but they aren't. So, okay, now let's add the menu. Let's add try adding menu. So I'm gonna go to scenes uh, and create. called main menu can do so this is going to be a 2D scene can change the camera to off the graphic and then game object Uh, so I think I can go, I'll go to game object, line view selected, 
I'm gonna create a UI canvas. That is a big canvas. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with this boolean screen space camera. Main camera. That is how to make it look good. Uh, I'm going to under canvas. Gonna a UI. I'm gonna use text mesh pro. Why Text Mesh Pro? Well, Text Mesh, Mesh Pro is really good and useful because it's way better than the old text. Text, I, 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 bas I couldn't survive without text. No, that's a bit too, uh, not too, uh, like, uh, actually, no, I couldn't so not survive, but my games actually would not look as good. Text mesh. When are you gonna? Oh my goodness! Hey, I have a question, Unity. When are you gonna make this a main part of the interface where you don't have to be? I'm gonna go do gizmos. No gizmos. No gizmos. Just gonna find the camera. No camera. Camera.
cool. Um, Cass will. I think I should go into the main camera. Solid color. Okie dokie! Next, let's create UI a button text mesh pro. Now we can make the button a bit larger. Drop shadow. It's also Even though it's like fairly easy to um What? Um it should be fine. So next I'm going to call this the play button. Play button. I'm gonna make this orange button.
Okay, let's do duplicate this. This time call this exit. Then I'm gonna let's go to file build uh, seeds and build fourth tofu stop it I'm sorry uh, my dog is annoying sometimes sample hit play. What just happened? Okay. Let's see. A uh, selected color. Let's just go complete way. this now. Hey mom, I'm gonna ask mom how she thinks this looks. Mom, how do you think this looks? My main menu looks like it. Look, do you like the colors I chose? Mm -hmm. That's fine. What the? Um, <laughs> let's see. Mom, yes, you can walk on the treadmill now. Um, let's see. So what's cool is, guess what? Um, so, so I think, think I, I need, need you, know, you know, the thing that's hard about, about this, uh, about, about making, making a UI, UI it's, it's really hard to figure out how, how it's going to look on, uh, other, other monitors. Other monitors, because, um, we don't know, I actually don't know how. I don't know, know how it's, this, this is gonna, gonna look, look in on, on like a, a I don't know like a, a, a laptop, laptop or something. could of course always put, put it on the second monitor, monitor but that's, that's So let's save this. Um, let's see what it looks like. And 
Hopefully it'll look fine no, on... It's hard to get, get the balance of... Is it on a laptop or not? So I think this looks fine. Wait a second, I can move the exit button. If I can move the exit button down, I can move the play button down so I can move chaos. Cool. Up! So let's see, how does that look? Um, I have no idea how it'll look. Mom, do you think it'll look good? Do you think this looks fine? Mom, do you? Okay. She thinks it looks fine. Um. Now I forgot. I forgot. We need. Um. Here's how I like to do scripts. I like to go. He shall script. Menu. Actually, I'm going to delete this. Because I uh, want to call it something else. I'm um, going to call it main menu. Because I might have like pause menu or save menu. Um. gonna create oh, oh why, why not, not just do, do it on, it on the, the event system, system. <laughs> create empty menu manager manager um so let's uh, oh yes, uh, the main manuscript. And you know what? Let's open that main manuscript up in Visual Studio Code. My code editor of choice. I really like this code. It gives a balance between. Um, It, it gives like, like a, a nice balance between uh, speed and features. Okay, so start Pokemon. I think we can start get away with making variable called actually making a function called make. Uh, Play. Uh, and for that, um, scene man natural. Dot. Um. How does he mean it to work? Unity scene go go to next scene. Oh, okay. Uh, so. Uh, 
uh, using Unity Engine. And using Unity Engine dot scene manage met. I don't know why they make it like this. Do they have to make it like this? Why do they make it like this? Do they have to make it like this? Um, <laughs> may I have to go like, um, unions.cmanagement, but the object is literally called cmanager. Okay, void, exit, and application, application, application dot quit and since that will not have shown the editor let's just debug dot log quit quit um Go, go back to uni, wait for it to flash, and you are in. Don't I've been recording, recording for half an hour. hour. Um. So, first I'm going to try the play button. Hello? Oh, oh yes, I, I forgot to even... even uh, Twiggle, on click, click I, I can go, go plus. plus. Object. Uh, menu manager. Uh, main menu. I've got, got this very important thing. thing. Got, got this very important thing. thing. So, so we, we need, need to make this public void. Public. So now! <gasps> Hopefully this will work! I've been recording for 34 minutes. If I record more than 34 minutes. Uh, I, I, I think, think I, I might, might go crazy, crazy if I keep coding. coding. You, you do not, not want to see me when I'm, I'm like trying to figure things out. When I am not on camera. camera. Being, I, I feel like being on camera just makes, makes me think, oh, we, we have, have to get, get some, we have, have to get at least something done <laughs> in this thing. Uh,. Again, Again, I keep things. saying this. Beginning. Main menu. Play. And then the exit. Menu manager, main menu, exit. Now we hit play and hope that everything works. <laughs> okay, let's. Oh, yes! Oh, what the? Of course, this is a, a the, okay, okay. So, so everyone, everyone, this is a, a, a totally a beginner, totally. I forget, 
that this even happens, but I don't know why they have to make it like this, but this is a beginner mistake that everyone has. So, what the? Um, so, you see, we need to go to window. When doing lighting, I like docking next to my inspector, and then pressing generate lighting. Wait, did I have to click? I think this should, if I hit save, then go into my main menu, and hit play in the main menu, and wait patiently. Waiting patiently, and hit play. Okay, and it works perfectly. Okay, next I test the exit button. Which actually works. It's actually not supposed to work because we have built the game. I mean, like, put. Okay! Um, so let's start. Let's just, let's go. So that's all in this devlog. Go over here and say, I will say. Bye.